I'm gonna be asking some of the tallest buildings in America if I can get on their roof. Let's go. Hi there. I'm trying to do this challenge to see if any buildings will let me go onto their roof. No, roof absolutely there. not. And getting rejected? That's kind of the point. Let me explain. Hello everybody, my name is Meredith and welcome or welcome back to 23 Days of Rejection. Where I'm driving across the country from Florida to California, purposely seeking out rejection in hopes of desensitizing myself to it. Today is day 13, which means that I need 13 rejections or a yes to complete my daily challenge. And today, I'm in Albuquerque. Albuquerque is a city known for its adobe architecture, perfect hot air balloon weather, film production, and it also happens to be the highest elevated metropolitan area in America due to the height of the Sandia Mountains in its vicinity. The city itself sits at 5,312 feet, a higher elevation than the tallest building in the country, making this a really cool city to do a challenge I've been dreaming about doing for almost a decade. But. We'll get to that part of the story later. The funny thing about this one is that I actually do have previous experience of asking this question before and getting rejected. And it was very scary. I'm not gonna lie. So it's kind of weird going into this one, knowing a little bit of what to expect. But I never could have expected where this first conversation was headed. No, absolutely not. You have all your power, all your electric, water, everything is up there. Super dangerous, very yeah. windy. This is the tallest building in the state. In the state? Yeah, you'd have to check some of the other buildings in the area. Yeah. Is there, and there's no way that I would be allowed to go no, through No, it's head. engineers only up there. This is the worst. Okay, thank you so much. And, I, and the unfortunate thing is, and I'm from Manhattan, I'd like to know myself, but I can't think of any place in the area that does feel the same way. I'm into vistas and all of that. You, know? yeah. you could try going down the pool. That's the hotel. Okay. The ploy. Maybe there's something they can do, but I wouldn't know. Thank you. Thank I'm you sorry. so much. Okay, so that was the tallest building in Albuquerque, and apparently in New Mexico. <laughs> they told me no. The building. <laughs> I know that there's so many legal reasons to keep people from doing the exact thing that I am trying to do right now. So my dreams are either about to come true or come crashing to the ground. And while I actually wrote out a whole list of reasons as to how this became a dream of mine, I realized it was way too cheesy to include in this video. So I'll just leave you with this. When I was 20, I moved to the magical city of Nashville. Magic. Wow. And it was the first time as an adult that I made a move based on a career dream and not for college or for a job. Every time I drove past Nashville skyline, I was reminded of that and filled with an immense amount of gratitude. I can't really explain it, but I eventually got that same feeling when I moved to Atlanta too. And that gratitude along the way somehow turned into me tangibly wanting to get on top of those buildings. It's possible that I was slightly inspired by that one scene in Paper Towns where they made befriending a security guard in the Suntrust building look incredibly easy. Or maybe it's just that being on a roof in the middle of a city is the closest I can currently get to feeling like my favorite superhero. Oh, no, not that one. Sorry, let me... Yeah, that's better. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. All I'm trying to say is that I've been thinking about doing this for a really long time. In fact, I even tried to get on a rooftop in Atlanta before, but I didn't have any luck. And I'm trying really hard not to think about that right now. Hi, can I ask you a question? I'm doing this challenge where I'm trying to see if there's any roof tops, like any roofs of buildings that I could get on. I don't think we have like an actual roof to get on. Yeah. Um, our whole rooftop, but it's only on the third floor. Okay. So it's not that high. <laughs> There's some actually parking garages. Okay. There's actually this really good one. Um, let me see. I can read the cheese Oh, that'd be great. I have in my location because I love that park. Um, is there a way for me to also maybe get to your pool area? For 
And no, this doesn't count as a roof. It's only the third floor. But if there's one thing I've learned, I love a good side story. However, I dropped my phone in the pool. Yeah, I was just not happy about that. Because that meant I ended up having to drive all the way across town to an Apple store where I found out my phone luckily survived, don't worry. But because my phone was on 1% and my car charger wouldn't work since there was liquid detected, I ended up having to stay there using their cordless chargers until I had just enough battery to keep filming. So my side story ended up leaving me way behind schedule and incredibly stressed because it was now 3 p.m. Most buildings closed at 5 p.m. And I just realized this. I just got to my third building and it really sucks, but I don't think I can count that as a rejection and I can't count it as a yes. So we're gonna chalk it up to that was a really cool experience and I still need 12 rejections. Okay, so this one is shorter than this one. So I'm gonna go with this one first and I think it's a bank. So I don't have high hopes, but I am manifesting that I'm gonna get a yes because I do not think I can do this 12 more times. Hi there. Hi. Can I ask you a question? Maybe. I am doing a really silly challenge to see if there's any buildings that would let me get on their roof. No, I'm, we can't. I have a key to the roof. You don't have a key to the roof. I doesn't even have the key. So now I'm going to go. I was just in this one. I'm going to go in that one. Not a joke, Jim. Nobody's here. Hi, how are you? Um, my name is Meredith. I am currently on a cross-country road trip. Um, I've never been to New Mexico before, but I'm doing this silly challenge where I'm trying to see if any buildings in Albuquerque will let me onto their roof. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. Was this it? Was this the story of how all my dreams came true? It's a paper town. Your father lived by a philosophy, a principle. Really. He believed that if you could do good things for a man, that there's no hope. After no, no, absolutely not. No. After almost a decade, identity theft is not a joke, Jim. The thrill of mine, yes. Yeah. yeah, no problem. So uh, give me a moment, though. I'm waiting for a dude to drop off some keys, and I gotta run through the garage, and then I can take you up there. What time do you think? In another hour or so. Okay. okay. Wow. Thank so you so much. My name is Meredith. Meredith, I'm Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And I normally get nervous when people tell me to come back later because there's a chance that the whole thing will fall through. But I had a really good feeling about this. All right, so it's one hour later. I'm so excited. And I wasn't surprised at all when I came back and saw Jerry completely ready to go. Well, at least I had a good feeling about it until he brought me here. Which, though cool, wasn't what I meant by a roof. But I didn't really know how to tell him that. So that, I was in the pool over there. I wonder if you can see the pool from here. So, oh yeah, it's right in that little triangle. <laughs> it's very funny. And right when I started to lose hope, he turned a corner toward a flight of stairs that I somehow didn't see before. And I started to realize I was 10 seconds away from standing on a roof in the highest metropolitan area in America. And during those 10 seconds, I couldn't help but think of another reason I did this challenge that I haven't mentioned yet. I know a few people who snuck onto roofs across the world, and I even considered doing that myself at some point, because that seemed like the only way to get onto the best kind of buildings, the rooftops like this that aren't accessible to the public. But I wanted to do this challenge to see if it was possible to get on top of a building by just asking. I wanted to see if there were any Jerry's out there that would happily show you their world if you could just get past the first couple of no's. And I realized as the door was being unlocked that that's exactly what I ended up proving today. I wish I could explain what this moment felt like, but it's hard to find the words. But yes, I did feel like Spider-Man. We stayed up there for as long as we could, and I couldn't help but feel like I was in a completely other world as Jerry showed me around the entire roof and told me the story of how he proposed to his wife up here. The wind is so strong. Oh my God. 
And I know that maybe this might seem silly or insignificant to some of the people watching this, but I think somewhere deep down that everyone has a dream that's similar to this one. And I hope that whatever yours may be, that you get the courage to go ask it because this feeling, I think I'm gonna hold on to this forever. And even though I've only got 10 more days of rejection until I get to Los Angeles, where I get to finally open the package I mailed to myself and do my ultimate challenge to complete the series, I feel like I'm just getting started. And I know for certain that this isn't gonna be the last roof I stand on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you for day 14.